If you like coffee and espresso, no, 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 you love coffee, you love espresso, then I have good news. Imaginary Authors has just released blend number 83. I was told this is a limited edition exclusive fragrance that you can only get right now through their website, Imaginary Authors. I was pretty hyped up for this fragrance and I'm gonna tell you why. Apparently, and as you can see in the back of this, this was a fragrance that was done in cahoots with Kahlua and Absolute. Now, if you're not familiar with what that is, those are very famous and popular brands of liquor. What do you get when you mix Kahlua, vodka, and milk? Well, you get a drink called a White Russian, and apparently that is what this is supposed to be reminiscent of and smell like, and we're gonna find out. After wearing this for a few days, I do have a couple cons that I'm gonna talk about later. Let's talk about the notes. The notes are dark chocolate, coffee, rum, and banton. Don't forget the musk and shush your sugar kind. Here we go. Now, right off the first whiff of this, right off the top, the first blast, you get hit with Kahlua. You get hit with a very chocolate, boozy Kahlua and vodka, it's there. I'm gonna say the opening of this fragrance is amazing. I actually really enjoy it. I'm a pretty big fan of white Russian drinks. I like coffee, I like espresso, I like chocolate, and that's what you get with this. As soon as you spray this, you get hit with that right off. Now, after about 10 to 20 minutes, this fragrance kind of tones down a little bit. You're left with a boozy note, very bitter coffee that almost is reminiscent of a high caffeinated espresso and a bitter dark chocolate. Now, honestly, I'm not in love with the mid, the dry down of this fragrance as much as in with the opening. The opening of this is very bright coffee, chocolate, boozy note. It's really good. The dry down just gets a little bit too bitter for me. The first whiff is a little bit sweet, but as it dries down, this is not a sweet fragrance. This is a gourmand technically, which means it smells edible, but I would say that it teeters in gourmand. There's a little bit of musky notes in this. It's a little bit sour bitter. It's like a black coffee. So picture you're like a really strong black coffee espresso that almost has like a sour note to it and a little bit of bitter dark chocolate mixed in, that is the dry down of this fragrance. Now, if that's your jam and that's something that you like, then I would say this is a must buy. But if you like coffee and chocolate and Kahlua and vodka absolute drinks, coffee drinks, anything like that, then definitely check this one out, get a sample. But I have a couple cons to this fragrance. Now, it was a little bit disappointing. I love the opening of this fragrance. Like I said, I wish it just stayed like that through and through. The dry down's okay, but my main kind of this fragrance is the projection and the longevity of this. Now the longevity of this isn't too bad. It's pretty moderate. I got like four to six hours. It turned into more of a skin scent, which means you have to smell your arm to actually smell the fragrance. The projection of this, I think is completely a joke, laughable week. You know, maybe I have to let my bottle macerate a little bit. I'm gonna check that out. I'm gonna give it a few weeks. I'll come back to it, update that review. But before then, you know, if you just get the bottle a few days and spray this, I was almost shocked about how weak it was. I almost did six to seven sprays of this earlier, and honestly, you still could barely smell it when you hug somebody. I mean, honestly, it turns right into a skin scent. So if you like a lighter fragrance and you don't want a strong fragrance that's gonna offend anybody, then you'll probably love this. So if you like coffee, dark chocolate, Kahlua, boozy fragrances, but you want something light and not strong, this is for you. If you want something strong and powerful, you know, there's a fragrance that everybody compares this to. I did a review on that fragrance, I'll post it here, and that is by Killian's Dark Lord. Now, to me, this smells nothing like Dark Lord. That being said, is this a good fragrance? Yes. Would I recommend you buying this fragrance? No, I would say get a sample of this. Get a sample of this. Now, I love this brand. Let's check out the bottle a little bit here. You know, I love the artwork of all imaginary authors' fragrances. On the back, they have all the notes listed. As you can see, it says a fragrance by Absolute and Kahlua. I don't know if they sponsor the making of this. I don't know if he just put that down because that's what he thinks it smells like or if it's actually a collaboration. I do like the packaging in the box. All their packaging comes like a little book. They come with one free sample. And the idea of Imaginary Authors is each fragrance is based off of a fake short story that he creates with imaginary notes. And that to me is really awesome. I do really like a lot of other Imaginary Author fragrances. I did a review of Telegramma. That's one of my personal fragrances and I'll link that up there. And another one I've been really enjoying by them is a soft lawn, which smells like tennis balls. You know what? I'm gonna do one more on the old chest spaghetti. So once again, right up top, as soon as you spray this, you get hit with the coffee Kahlua vibe, a little bit of booziness from the vodka and that bitterness from the dark chocolate. It's really nice, it smells really good. As it tones down, it gets a little bit less sweet, a little bit bitter, and it kind of just, you know, fades away. I don't know, you don't really smell it. I don't even, s I just smell a little bit of bitterness on my arm. There's, you know, let me see. 
Yeah, the opening's amazing. The opening smells like a Kahlua cake almost, like a really nice mixed drink. But after that, it's already it's already fading. That's okay. I don't like the bitterness. There's almost a greenness to it. I don't know what that is. I don't know if that's the the boozy note. What is that? And there's a little little bit of musk, just a little bit. Not offensive musk, you won't pick it up. I pick it up because I'm a nose master, but you, you might pick it up, I don't know. Overall, I'm a little bit disappointed. If you wanna check out samples of this, I'll put some links below directly to the website. Their bottles are fairly good price. It's about $100 for this. This is the 50 ml. You know, I'm a little bit disappointed, not super. I do enjoy it. I'm gonna work with it a little bit more. I do like coffee. I just don't feel like this is a wow statement fragrance. You're not gonna get attention from this. Don't wear this on dates. This is kind of like get out of the shower. I'm gonna spray this on. It's nice and comforting. I'm gonna read a good book because I like the smell of coffee and I'm gonna go to bed. That's what this is. This is not gonna pull the babes. It's not gonna get the dudes. I don't know. The artwork's cool. I like the artwork. Let it macerate. Let it macerate.